And on to the latest coming in from Australia, where the temperatures have provided some much-needed respite to the Australian bushfires. Some dangerous fire conditions are now being forecast for the end of the week, though. Cooling temperatures and calmer winds have now brought some relief to the Australian communities. The New South Wales Rural Fire Service has said that almost 150 fires were active in the state. 64 fires still continue to rage. And to put this further into perspective, the Australian bushfires have now burned an area twice as big as the US state of Maryland. Two people were now missing in the Australian state of New South Wales. Queensland Fire Emergency Services released footage of the bushfires in New South Wales. The visuals on your screens filmed by the fire crew and volunteers as they drove through roads that were surrounded by flames on both sides. A video that's been taken on board a Royal Australia Air Force plane during a mission to help rescue the people shows the view that can tell us uh, of the intensity of the bushfires, orange haze all around. The visuals on your screens were taken from the cockpit of the plane while it was attempting to land at the Malakuta airport. Firefighters from the United States also arrived in Sydney to assist their Australian colleagues battling the wildfires. Residents of the coastal city of Erin have been advised by the authorities to leave for evacuation centres. Thousands of people have been evacuated from the coastal towns in one of the biggest coordinated operations in Australian history. Authorities have now reopened the blocked roads and are still evacuating the people who have been trapped for days in various parts of the country. The fires have killed at least 24 people and destroyed more than 2,000 homes. Australian authorities have now begun assessing the damage. Tens of thousands of homes in both New South Wales and Victoria are now without power as a large-scale military and police effort continue to provide supplies. Fire officials said temperatures are expected to rise once again during the week. The bushfires have now undone decades of careful conservation work on the Kangaroo Island. Residents continue to bring the injured koalas and kangaroos to the Kangaroo National Park for their treatment. Ecologists estimate that about 8,000 <laughs> koalas have died since the fire started as the slow-moving animals are unable to escape the flames. The fires threatened to wipe out entire species of animals. Nearly half a billion animals in New South Wales have been killed over the last couple of months. The Australian Prime Minister has now said that at least $2 billion will now be put into a bushfire recovery fund over the next two years. The Commonwealth is committing an additional and initial $2 billion over the next two calendar years, starting right now, to support all of the efforts of recovery uh, right across the country. This is not just in those areas that are experiencing fires now. They are in those areas that have already experienced fires, particularly up in Queensland and northern New South Wales. And sadly, as there are many months still to go in this fire season, um, those parts of the country which still may yet face great risk of fire impact in the, in the future. Meanwhile, French President Emmanuel Macron has now expressed his solidarity, offering assistance to the country amid the disaster. Almost 100 Canadian fire management personnel have also been deployed to Australia. The Australian Open is now raising proceeds for the bushfire crisis. Australia's Shane Warne would also auction his prized baggy green test cap to raise money for the bushfire relief efforts.